Hey guys, today I'm filming a video on my October favorites. I see it's one of the commonly, uh, the most commonly things done by other YouTubers, so I thought why not give it a try. So, I've got my bag of tricks and I'm going to show you my favorites for this month. Okay, first we're going to start off with the Iman Saint Prez palette. I pretty much use this palette almost every day because um, my everyday makeup look is usually like a neutral smoky eye and I, I haven't really used the lip glosses yet but I should probably try them soon because they are really beautiful so that's my favorite for that and this is Lumine Bright Skin Radiance Nectar I use this as my moisturizer and it is so amazing. It makes your skin look beautiful and glowing. And days when I don't want to wear makeup, this is perfect because you just throw this on and you look fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Another thing I like is the Eyes Lips Face Makeup Mist and Set. It uh, sets your makeup and makes it sweat proof. I love this. This is my uh, second bottle of it. You can get this at Target now for $3. Alright, sorry about that. Someone's at the door. But um, as I was saying, it has um, aloe, green tea, and cucumber extract, and vitamins A, C, and E, and it's so good for your skin. I love using it. It's amazing. And um, you can get this at uh, Target, $3, and Eyes Up's Face for $3. And it's such a great deal, and you just give yourself a little spritz, and you're good to go. Okay. Next up, we have... What? No. Did my body spray. I use the um, Victoria's Secret Body Mist Sexy Little Things Noir. It smells so good. It's so fun. I love using it for um, going to school day to day because it gives you that gorgeous perfumey smell but lighter in that body mist. So it's not so overpowering because you're around people all day. But it's a lasting smell that will last you all day long. I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Next up, I'm gonna do my foundations. I love the um, MAC Select XPF 15 foundation in NW47. Um, this is actually the first MAC foundation I've ever bought. And I honestly like it. I use it um, not every day because I switch between these two but I really do like it it works really well and it's perfect because I live in Arizona and the sun's burning down on you all the time and it's always good to have a foundation with some SPF in it and then here is my uh, Michael Marcus foundation it's um, anti-aging firming foundation it's one of the only foundations he carries not that I'm anti-aging but it's awesome I use this in I think both makeup tutorials that I have uploaded on here and it's in cocoa and it's fabulous. I think it's a staple and I picked this up at um I wanna say Dillard's this at the beginning of this month. It was this foundation usually runs for fifty dollars and they are discontinuing Michael Marcus being sold in store in stores at the Dillard's and I got it for eleven, so yep. Good deal, I had to go back and buy another one to stock up because $50 is a pretty penny to spend on the nation. And my um, favorite powder of the moment is the Michael Marcus Press It Powder Foundation in Kahlua and it's antioxidant powder with sunscreen. So on top of being good for your skin with the antioxidants for clearing up skin and making things look young and youthful, it has sunscreen which protects you from um, sunspots and UV rays hitting your face. And the packaging is so cute and then here you get the little um, sponge and then it opens up to a mirror and there's the powder right there. I love it. Next up is also a Michael Marcus product. This is a compact. You have to buy these um, separately for your purchases. But it has a cream blush in Alluring, I believe, in Alluring. And I used this in my first Phoenix Fashion Week makeup tutorial video. And then the second um, powder, let's see what color this is. This 
oops, this blush is in Luxurious. I love it as well. Uh, these are both really beautiful colors. I use, um, I like to say, I use these almost on a daily basis. I use these on top of, well, not on top of, but I also use these. And I also use the Islips Face Blush in Mellow Moth. And they are, this, these two are pretty, the luxurious and Mellow Moth are kind of similar colors. It's just Mellow Moth is a little bit lighter. And this they do sell in the Target stores because I know they pick and choose what they sell in stores and they sell everything online. And this is uh, three dollars. It's from the Elf Professional line. And then I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite mascaras. I love the the Mac Hello Kitty mascara. I've had this for um quite some time. I got it uh, while I was in LA. A few months ago, and I love this. It makes this actually the mascara I'm wearing right now. It makes your lashes look really plump, and this is just after one coat, so it's pretty fun. And I also love um, the Milani Power Lash, and I use this mascara in both of my um, makeup tutorials, and it's they are both in black. Since we're on eyes, I'll go ahead and show you some more Eyes Face products. These are um. They're duo eyeshadow creams. One is in blueberry, like that. And then I have the other one in butter pecan. And I use these almost on a day to day basis, especially since the past few weeks have been um, heavy. The past few days have been heavy makeup days because I had a homecoming. And then there was like the spirit week dress up days and things like that. And then I have Halloween coming up. So. I look good and I use even though this is blueberry and it's a, a light pale blue and a dark navy blue I still use the dark navy blue for when I do spooky eyes instead of putting the um, black eyeliner over my eye I just use this and it works just the same and it holds in my opinion it holds the powder the eyeshadow that you put on a lot better it makes it last longer I know I went through I had done my makeup yesterday around 3.30 and it lasted me until 3 o'clock in the morning and just this and I was also wearing the Michael Marcus foundation and powder and it lasted me until 3 o'clock 3 o'clock this morning without any trouble anything rubbing off it lasted through the sweating and everything like that of course I used my mist and set which helped as well okay. well we're still on eyes I have a few more products to show you this is Harajuku Lover's eyeshadow in Gothic Grey, and it's really not a grey color. It's more of a, a dark black with kind of flecks of silver. It's really glittery and pretty. And this I've been using every time I do a smoky eye on top of the um, Duo Eyeshadow Cream Blueberry, and they work perfectly together. This is just the... Um, sample size of this eyeshadow. I got it in like a hair droop delivery gift set. But you can get this in Sephora, I believe. And probably online. And I'm also going to be using that for my Kesha eye makeup. Okay, and here we are. We have the Revlon Colorstay uh, Liquid Eye Pen. I use this on a daily basis, seriously. This is in, um, I want to say, Blackest Black. And it's phenomenal the way this pen writes. I also use this in my um, leopard print lips video, and it, that's simple and that that easy. You can see, like, straight from the side, I'm barely touching my hand, and it comes out so clean and perfect. It's definitely um, a must-have for liquid eyeliner pens. I like the Eyeslips Face one as well, but I prefer this one better just because it's a little bit higher quality. And last but not least, I have my, them. well they're kind of outside the package, is my Isle Face Natural Lash Kit. They're kind of all messed up because I had these on last night, so when I took them off um, this morning, I just like threw them in here. And I wear these for almost every special occasion we have or on a day-to-day -day basis because they just make your lashes look full. And half the time people can't even tell I'm wearing thick lashes. I know, um... 
I got asked once if I was wearing them, but um, it's because I packed a lot of heavy mascara on top of them to really give it a really voluminous look. Alright, and now we're moving on to lips. And I'm back with Michael Marcus products because I swear they're like, it's going to become my staple line of makeup products. And this is Michael Marcus Lip Liner in Raisin. It's a really pretty color. Let's see if I can get a. It's really not sharpened right now. Let's see if I can get a clean swatch like that. I love this color. I use it on a day to day basis, as you can see, because that's why it's so short. And it's awesome. And it glides on so smooth. Then I also have um, Michael Marcus Lip Liner in Irresistible. It's quite uh, similar to Raisin. Raisin just a little bit more brown. And this one's kind of more mauve. Let's see if I can get a swatch of this one. Yeah, I got a better swatch of that one. And I love them. They are they glide on so smooth. They condition your lips so well. And a lot of times I don't put um, lipstick on on top of them. I just kind of put a little chapstick on. And it's perfect. Then I have, this is Wet n Wild Lipstick in 908B, which is Cafe A Lot. And then it's just like a shimmery, goldish, tannish color. I don't ever wear this by itself. I, I wear it over the, the lip liners sometimes, or sometimes I just put a little, like, in the middle right there, and then... And it gives you like a little glowy effect on your lips. So I wouldn't wear this alone. Well, if I had a lighter, if you were a lighter skin tone, you probably could work this alone. But I can't, unfortunately. Then this is a Revlon um, Super like, super Luscious Lipstick in Rose and Shine. It's number 619. You can kind of see it. I can give you guys a, a, a swatch of that. It's my all-time favorite lipstick. That's why it's almost gone. And I, whenever I see them online or in the store on sale, I buy them. I think I've got two tubes right now in the brand new packaging waiting for me to get rid of this one and get, move on to those ones. I use it on, like, whenever I do my everyday makeup, I use this because it's so pretty and it looks really natural. Okay, and then, last but not least, this is... Ulta brand lipstick in color 108. I ordered this on a whim because they, I was ordering my Lumine from Ulta and then in the corner section they had a bunch of lipstick for like a dollar and I was like, mm, why not? So I ordered this color. It had a pretty name, I just cannot remember it. And it's a brownish shade. Do a swatch for me. Yeah. And it's kind of like, for my skin tone, it's kind of like a nudish. Color and it looks really pretty. Sometimes I mix the pink with this brown, and it's really pretty. Oh, and let me just give you a swatch of that Cafe A Lot color so you can see how obnoxiously bright that is why it shouldn't be worn alone. Okay, and last but not least, I have um, a, a necklace and an earring to show you guys. This is a necklace I got a few years back from, I want to say, Lane Bryan or the Avenue, and I wear it all the time and I get so many compliments on it, and I don't know if you can see the light reflecting through it and how pretty that looks, and then when the light's not reflecting through it, it's gorgeous. And it's got like kind of a long chain, where it like, like so, and it's super, super fun, it adds, um, it adds to any outfit. I usually wear it when I'm wearing like um, basic Phoenix t-shirts or when I'm wearing white or something like that. I think I also wore that to Phoenix Fashion Week the first day. And then this here, which is one of my favorite earrings. I Whenever I wear earrings, I don't ever wear the same exact ones. So I often oftentimes have like one earring lying around. And this is a little elephant. I'm absolutely obsessed with elephants. My friend got me these. Um, after I had a sports injury and had to be on crutches for a few months, she got me these and it was so cute. 
and these are, this is my, one of my favorite earrings for this month, I thought I'd share it with you guys, and that's about all I have to share with you, I really hope you enjoy this, and if you want to see more of these, or if you have anything else you'd like to see from me, please let me know, comment below what you like, what you didn't like, thumbs me up, thumbs me down, anything helps, um, please subscribe, comment, rate, and thanks so much for watching beauties, bye.